Hey guys, Belinda back again for Horror Tree with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And this week I'm talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. And apologies in advance if it does seem like I am reading a bit more than what I normally do in these videos, it's because I am, because a few of these submission calls I'm going to talk about today are quite detailed. So I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. So let's get stuck right into it. Okay, so first up is horroraddicts.net and their Manner of Frights anthology. So the theme for this is imagine a Victorian house where every room is cursed with a frightful existence. Um, monsters in the halls have a ghost left to fester in the library. Manner of Frights will be a collection of tales all set in different rooms of the same house. So the stories must follow these guidelines. First up, stories must be in the third person. Second, the Manor of Frights was built in 1880. So the stories can take place between 1880 and 1980. So keep this in mind when you're writing your story. Number three is choose a room and write a horror story that takes place in it. 13 rooms will be picked from the submissions choose wisely and be unique. And fourth is the story must have an overwhelming sense of menace and dread. So the kind of horror is open to you, but it must have the sense of menace and dread. Um, scare us, entertain us as we know you can. Okay, and LGBTQ and POC writers are encouraged to enter as well. Um, Thereafter, stories with a word count of between 2,000 and 3,500 words, no exceptions. That is the word count. No reprints or simultaneous submissions for this one, guys. The payment is $10 plus a contributor's copy, and the submissions close on the 31st of October, Halloween, which is so appropriate for this submission call. Alrighty, so next up is tiny tales and the theme here is they are looking for fantastic weird bizarre fiction to turn into podcasts so this is a great opportunity for those of us who are trying to crack the podcast market um no specific genre though stories they include are always fiction and always have some kind of fantastic element to them so remember that when you're writing your stories guys they're after stories with a word count of between 500 and 1200 words maximum. The payment is 0.05 cents a word and the subs close on the 7th of September. Alrighty, next up is Black Ink Fiction and their Bones Hollow series. So the theme for this is life can be full of ups and downs for the folks of Bone Hollow, Bones, Ho Bones Hollow, sorry, but it's always good to give thanks. And even when you're and when you're in love, even more so. Um, Thanksgiving is a time for reflecting on the things that make you grateful. And and what do the folks of Bones Hollow have to be thankful for this year? A Bones Hollow anthology celebrates love for all kinds, shapes, sizes, and orientations, based in the fictional Vermont town where the supernatural and hallmark collide. Um, thereafter, stories are between 2,000 and 8,000 words, no simultaneous submissions, and up to two submissions per author is allowed. Payment is royalty split between authors plus a digital copy, and the submissions close on the 1st of October or until full. And last, certainly not least, is Weird Christmas and their 2022 Weird Christmas 5th Annual Flash Fiction Contest. So the theme for this, this is a contest for, for flash fiction of no more than 350 words. That's somehow about Christmas and somehow about slapping a big old scoop of oozy weed right in the middle of your Christmas pudding. Just make Christmas or any other winter holiday seem new and unsettling. They want your, they, he want, the, the publisher wants you to keep your stories to help keep Christmas weird. Um, and the, there are prompts for this contest. So there are, are three prompts you can choose to write about. And the first prompt is stocking stuffer. In this category, just write whatever the hell you want. Um, anything goes as long as it fits in the rules and general guidelines. Number two, Christmas cryptids. So it seems like odd monsters and critters are all the rage. 
why don't we make our own animals which may exist and some are out in the wild and are not believed to exist by the mainstream by mainstream science um, you can make up your own new and weird creature or make an old standard one feel fresh and freaky again and number three is weird cards so if you're absolutely stuck for a story idea head over to twitter or tumblr or facebook or instagram and find an old card the website has posted and and possibly um, base your story on that write a story inspired by it if you can and be sure to link the card when you submit your story so thereafter stories with a maximum word count of 350 words maximum um, poetry is accepted but it must be narrative and multiple submissions are okay um, payment is $75 for first prize $50 for each prompt and $5 for every honourable mention. And the submissions close on the 2nd of November. So there you have it, guys. Another fabulous lineup of fabulous submission calls by fabulous publishers and with some really amazing spooky and horror appeal there. So, you know, hopefully these will get your creative juices flowing, get you writing get you read, get you loved, get you adored by the masses, the whole nine yards. So if you are going to submit, good luck. And if any of these calls interest you, all you need, all the information you need is up on the Horror Tree website. And if you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would love to see you over there. And again, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, we would love to hear from you. So thank you for sticking with me thus far. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Stay cool and stay spooky. See you later.